A few words on the concept of efficiency. Hello everyone. Welcome to PCCL Physics Chemistry. I will be interested in that of an electric motor. It consumes electrical energy. It produces mechanical energy. The ratio of the second to the first is called the efficiency. Let's see the instructions. It is asked to give the expressions of mechanical energy then of electrical energy, and finally to make the ratio of the useful energy to the consumed energy, which is efficiency. The Greek symbol lowercase eta is generally used to represent efficiency. I will do this for five values of mass and try to see if the efficiency depends on the mass or if it is an absolute characteristic of the motor. Here is the apparatus. So the motor is here, it is powered by a DC supply. The voltage will be stabilized at 1.2 volts. It is noted here, throughout the experiment. However, the current will only be displayed when the switch is closed. I ask the motor to raise a mass of 10 grams. Therefore, I read 97 milliamp years here and the stopwatch tells me that this work lasted 4.75 seconds. Here is I, the current. Here is delta T, the duration of this conversion, and by multiplying by VI, VI delta T is P delta T which gives me a value of the electric energy. Mechanical energy will be the work of the force exerted by the wire. Since the mass rose at a constant speed, the force exerted by the wire was equal to the weight. I can simplify all this by writing that mechanical energy is worth weight multiplied by distance. So that's work. The energy of the motor is equal to the work done by the weight, in absolute value. I calculate it and find that it is worth 0.098 Joule. The relationship of the two is here. That's 18%. I change mass, 20 grams, and I close. I have a current which is a little higher here 0 0.116 ampere, 116 milliamperes. It's a small motor. And I have the same calculation as earlier. Which this time gives me 26%. So, a little better efficiency. Here I have 30 grams, a current of 143 milliamperes, and I do my calculations to find a return of 27%. That's where the performance is best, I believe. I seem to remember that. After the efficiency decreases, it would be the top of a bell curve in fact. So, for 40 grams, I note in amperes, of course, that is to say that I make sure, to have joules, that each quantity here is written in the international system. I have to be homogeneous. Here it is 1 meter. Here it is 9.8 newtons per kilogram or meter per second squared, and the mass here 40 times 10 to the minus 3 kilogram. So 22%. You see the efficiency is less. And finally for 50 grams, the effort required is greater. And I find 19%, therefore the efficiency collapses beyond a certain value. So I can answer the original question. The efficiency depends on the mass lifted, it depends on the duration of the effort, the torque which will be exerted here. But this is not a characteristic of the electric motor. In any case, in this example, the efficiency cannot be given as a definitive characteristic of the converter. That's it for this video. Thank you.